Hi, this is Tom. Welcome to the Edit Car Guys channel. And today what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing a serpentine belt on my 1988 Chevy Cavalier Z24 with a 2.8 liter engine. Um, this is going to be a long list of videos on this car. And if you watched the previous video on everything that's wrong with this car, you'll see why. Anyway, let's get started. And on this car, as you can see, the belt, this belt is toast. And it's also the wrong belt. It actually does not follow the diagram that's on this car. Now this is very important is this diagram right here will tell you which belt you need and you have to have that belt or you're going to have problems so let me pause it right here so I can work um, have no uh, person to help me film today start right here by removing these three bolts just a second one more quick thing I wanted to point out before before we uh, take everything apart is make sure you get a quality belt. The belt I got here is a Goodyear uh, belt. It's a high quality belt. It's fairly stiff. And that's another reason you could tell this thing is just not ready to go. Even though it, it was a good belt back in its day, they just quit making them. Um, but it's got a lot of play in it. It shouldn't have this much play. It shouldn't be easy for me to just do this with it. Now what you're going to need is a 10, mil 10 millimeter wrench for the side here. And a 10 millimeter socket for the top of the, gui of the protective guide. Apparently this bugger just doesn't want to come off. And we drop a socket. <laughs> I 
Joy's doing this one handed. Now I would keep that screw right where it's at. And you notice there's more of the fan belt that's shredding away. Now what you want to do is you want to locate the idler pulley. Which is, I don't know if you can see it. Right down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a tool to make this a heck of a lot easier. That is this. It's an idler pulley tool that you can literally put everything on. Now before you mess with this, take off your rings. Make sure you have nothing on your fingers that's going to catch and, cu and cut you because this is going to... See if I can make this fit here. Shit. Now before you start this process, make sure you take off all your rings, watches, stuff that can get caught in here because as you can see, there's not a whole heck of a lot of room to move. Now you're also going to want to get one of these. And this is your idle, your tensioner pulley um, bar that literally helps you move the tensioner out of the way so you can actually get the belt off. Now I'm going to pause this real quick while I get the, this on, on it because I need both my hands. Now as you get this off or on, all you got to do is pull, theoretically, and it'll decrease the tension to where you could pop the belt off. Now after you get it off the idler pulley, it's fairly simple to remove. Just reach down here. And then just pull it on off. Now, sometimes it's easier to do if the car is up off the ground. Like I have mine. <laughs> now that it's off. The best thing to do is take your new belt right here and make sure it matches the old belt like so. Then it's a simple matter of just putting it back on the exact reverse of the way you took it off. Alright, it's been a couple days now and the part has come in and believe it or not, it's well, the label says it's from a Cadillac Cimarron. Now that is essentially what this part is. It's, you know, they were all the same car. They were all the 
uh, off the J body platform. They were all Cavaliers. So let's see if we can get this paint. I'm going to show you right here. <laughs> see if I can get a good angle on it. Right there. Out. So to do that, I'm probably going to have to pry out the inner fender just to get the socket on there because I'm out. I don't have enough to get the socket and the ratchet on there. So let's give it a try and see what we can do. When doubt, get a beer pry bar. See if I can get that on there. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. Gotta love my parts held on by one bloody boat.
No, and I'm actually out of here. All I'm trying to do is break this free. No, I'm actually out of here. All I'm trying to do is break this bolt free. And then once I've got it broke, I can use my wrench, which fits on there, to get this off. But this thing is just not wanting to break. So, I don't know. I'll come back in a few once I figure out how to get this bolt broke. Well, we're back. It's been a couple hours later, and you and a buddy of mine finally showed me a trick on how to get this POS off. So we took we took the uh, let's see where the, the 13 millimeter. And we ran it through this and put it on the bolt. And after we put it on the bolt, we were able to use this as a breaker bar, just like this, to break the bolt loose. Now, after the bolt got finally got off, this is what remains of it. And yeah, it's corroded junk. And it's just horrible. We got the new one on. All nice and new and shiny. We tested for functionality, which is what you always want to do. So before you even get your belt on, take take your, your bar. Hook it in like this and make sure it moves freely. That way you make sure you got the right part and it functions before you run your belt. Now, finally, after four days, we can run our belt. Now, go back to our handy dandy diagram. That's, that's right here. Shows you how to do it. And, I'll, and a little, little tip is grooves go in grooves. The so your grooves, make sure they're going in grooves. And your flats, make sure they're going on the flats. So let's get started. Now this is actually supposed to be a real, real simple job. That didn't turn out the way it was supposed to, though. Yeah, it didn't exactly turn out the way it was supposed to, but you know what? Crap happens. So, easiest way for this would be to put that right there. Come down here. 
put it on the AC, put it on that. Make sure you, got, you keep it lined up. You know, Chase, am I still lined up on both poise down there? Yep, you're lined up. All right. And then all we need to do Okay, I might need to do a little bit more. Yeah. See if I can get just a hair more on there. All right. Might need to do this a slightly different. All right. We need that and that and that, but we could. Now we'll do this the easy way still. Chase, I'll have you push this forward okay. so I can get the belt on the alternator. A little bit more. Really? Push the floor as far as I can right here. All right, go ahead and drop it down. All right. We'll try. Hmm. Can you push straight up? Yep. This might be a bit awkward. Holding the camera. Oh, I lost it. Yeah, I noticed. Come on. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, hang on. Might need to... on it's on all right I'll let me try and have you okay maybe it requires a little bit more mishkas I've got an idea. Hang on. Okay. I'm dropping it. All right. I'll go ahead and hold this down here real quick. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's try. I'll try popping it and popping it up and okay. have you. One thing you want to make sure of on these is because this is such soft aluminum, you want to make sure this is seated all the way on.
this way. All right, right out. So we may need to adjust this down a little bit. Actually, we're going to cheat on this one. Okay. Go ahead and pause it again. Okay, and you're good to go. So what we're doing now is since this one since it, it doesn't really work too god awful well what we're going to do is we're going to try to adjust it down a little bit and let's see here. Well, that was that was the ground, so we don't want to take that off. going to take this last bolt off either we're just going to loosen it that way we have more maneuverability just so we can adjust the just so we can adjust <coughs> the alternator down a little bit and then once we have the belt on, we'll pry it back up and tighten it back down. And we should be good to go. And of course you're a bigger freaking socket. Looks like it's a 14. You wanna hand me a 14? 14 and a quarter? Yep. Oh, here we go. Let's see if that fits. It's kind of hidden. Let's see if that fits. Yeah, a little too loose. Try a 13. 13? I don't have a 13 out. Don't worry. Must have it on the socket. Hmm. Let's see. I do. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Well, this is on three eighths, but actually. <laughs> Where's my extensions at? Hmm, do you sneak away with one of my extensions? Nope, here it is. I was gonna say, I didn't see him sneak away with it. came loose. Yep. Yeah. 
Not loose enough yet though. That should be loose enough. And what we'll do is we'll grab a rubber mallet. And my small pry bar. Which, there's the big pry bar, don't need that one. There it is. And we'll go. Let's see how well that worked. Hang on, pause. Some more. Hmm. Not getting enough leverage to get it up there. There we go. Come on. Okay, so I need you to pause it. Well, we thought we were gonna do this the easy way of just adjusting the alternator down, but it looks like we either broke the alternator or just the bolt. We're about to find out here in a second. Chase is taking off the alternator all the way now. Take off the positive lean too. Well, that generally helps. Yeah, it generally does. Is it the same size? Well, I'll probably get a seven millimeter wrench on there. Seems to be twisting the whole wire here. Oh, there it went. And uh, put the match.
Now, whenever you're working with current going in a vehicle, always disconnect your battery. You don't want to shock yourself into oblivion. That won't feel too good, I can tell you. I've had some stupid friends. Also, make sure your ring, you're not wearing your, your wedding ring if you're married or other rings that do conduct electricity. Is the bolt out? Trying to get it out, trying to maneuver it out. It's just this hose right here is preventing it from going any further. So I was just seeing if I can lift it up above. You should or... be able to pop that hose off. Should just be a vacuum PVC hose. So I could just pull it off? Um, well, double check it real quick, but it looks like it. Hang on, let me come around that side. Okay. You film. All right, it's all good. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. That's a. It's actually the ground for. Oh, son of a bitch. With that, it sounds worse than what it seems to be now yeah well, it's way worse than that you get to have some fun oh do i yeah you're not connected to anything else Should be, should be all off. Oh, we got one more thing. Hang on. Well, we're not going to complete this video today. Sorry, Tom. Um, we did a major breakage here. And... Oh, it's going to be a fun one. Come on. Guess what you get to find. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no, not not very good. See what you broke? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Just doing what you said. I was pulling. Yeah, I didn't think you were gonna pull that hard to break it. I wasn't pulling that hard. So anyway, I 
Yeah. You gotta buy that whole damn mount right there. Thankfully, we might be able to get this from Rock Auto. This side engine looks gross. You can see where it snapped right off. Yeah. Well, we're going to make this a two-parter. I'm Tom. That's Chase. And thanks for watching. Drop us a comment and give us a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with us with all your friends. And come back for part two of the drama of getting a god dang super serpentine belt on an 88 Cavalier.